Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read a poem, Slow Dance, unit number 20 from Oxford Reading Circle 6. Students, this is a poem written by David L. Rutherford. And it is an interesting poem. The poet invites readers attention towards the way of life how they are living life it keeps focus on the daily routine of the modern life as they get up and start life with without looking here and there appreciation of life helps with the realization of time and passing time Slow dance, page number 182 and 183. Have you ever watched kids on a merry-go-round or listened to the rain slapping on the ground? Ever followed a butterfly's erratic flight or gazed at the sun into the fading night? You better slow down, don't dance so fast. Time is short, the music won't last. Do you run through each day on the fly? When you ask, how are you? Do you hear the reply? When the day is done, do you lie in your bed with the next hundred chores running through your head? You'd better slow down. Don't dance so fast. Time is short, the music won't last. I was told your child will do it tomorrow and in your haste not see his sorrow ever lost touch let a good friendship die cause you never had time to call and say hey you'd better slow down don't dance so fast time is short the music won't last when you run so fast to get somewhere you mess you miss half the fun of getting there when you worry and hurry through your day it is like an unopened gift thrown away life is not a race do take it slower hear the music before the song is over exercises a questions one what four questions does the poet ask us in the first stanza and why does he ask these questions? Answer Have you ever watched kids on a merry-go-round? Have you ever listened to the rain slapping on the ground? Have you ever followed a butterfly's erratic flight? Have you ever gazed at the sun into the fading night? Because these are activities that are time consuming yet pleasurable and require free time. 2. Which lines form the chorus for refrain in the poem? Look up this word. Answer. You'd better slow down. Don't dance so fast. Time is short. The music won't last. 3. What does the poet mean by the words dance and music in the 6th and 8th lines? Is he speaking of a real dancer and real music? Answer. The poet does not mean real dance or music but is referring to life, happiness, youth, music, regular everyday life and routines. Dance. 4. When and why might an adult say to a child, we'll do it tomorrow? Answer. When the child wants to play or do something with the adult that may require time. 5. In one sentence, summarize the main idea in the poem. Then say why you think this is the main idea. Answer. We should take pleasure in the smaller things of life and should not spend all our time running after big goals. 6. Do you agree with the poet's message that he has conveyed through this poem? 
elaborate your answer with reasons answer i agree with the message because many people stay busy chasing material things which do not give lasting happiness good friends nature and simple joys give more happiness than running from one task to the other b reference to context read these lines from the poem and then answer the questions one ever lost touch let a good friendship die a what does lost touch mean answer stop communicating b what other reason does the poet give to show how a good friendship might die answer if we get too busy to call and talk to our friends to when you worry and hurry through your day it is like an unopened gift a what other examples does the poet give of hurrying answer not stopping to hear the reply when you ask uh, how are you not spending time with friends and loved ones not spending a lot of time during fun things b what is more important to the poet than getting there in a hurry answer the fun of the journey c what completes the simile it is like an unopened gift answer thrown away c words and meaning one what does the following sentence mean do you run through each day on the fly answer do you rush through each activity as a chore that has to be completed without resting or doing anything enjoyable two what do the following mean for each one write down the meaning of the phrase and then use the phrase in a sentence of your own a on the run trying to avoid being captured and the sentence is here is on the run from the police b on the mend getting better after an injury or illness and the sentence is my leg is on the mend two weeks after the fracture c on the up improving his career has been on the up and up since he moved into trade d on the go meaning is active busy sentence is i have been on the go all morning e on the sly e on the sly secretly he drives his mother's car on the sly while she is at work f on the make meaning trying to get money or some strategic advantage for yourself and the sentence is watching the young politician with the party seniors you could tell he was on the make g on the take to accept money from someone in return for helping them in something illegal sentence what will it take for me to convince you what will it take for me to convince you three note the italicized idioms in the following rewrite the sentences without using the idioms but do not change the meaning a the director made the actors run through the entire play again the director made the actors rehearse the entire play again b the dog was run over by the lorry but it survived the dog was 
crushed by the lorry but it survived c we do not run into him very often these days we do not meet him very often these days d he was eventually run in by the police last tuesday he was eventually arrested by the police last tuesday e don't run her down she has great talent don't criticize her she has great talent f we run by the club on our way to work every day we incur the club on our way to work every day g if you are not careful you can easily run up a large bill if you are not careful you can easily count down a large bill thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like